Hello! <laughs> I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded for a while. Um, actually, I'm not sorry. I was ill and Christmas. Um, I hope you all had a good Christmas and I hope you enjoy this review of the Canon 750D. I don't know which way I'm holding this. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm holding like a microphone in my face. I don't have a wireless mic system or a shotgun mic yet. It's something that I want to buy and if I keep kind of looking away from the camera it's because I have my phone here and I'm checking focus and everything like that um, and I'm not too experienced in filming videos like this but it will get better. Anyway, I've had this camera for around two years and in my first year I was kind of a beginner and in the second year was when I sort of kind of moved up a bit and I kind of started to understand cameras a lot more. The main pros of this camera, particularly at the moment actually, is the price of it. I think you can pick it up in the UK for about £200 used. Obviously it depends on the condition of the camera but on average I've seen them used for about £200 which is really good. Um, I picked it up for 420 I think. Aha, that was a good number. <laughs> I picked it up for 420 um, at about two years ago, I think in 2017, actually nearly three years ago. Um, I honestly don't remember when I bought this, but I've had it for two years, I know that at least. The main uh, pros of this camera is the image quality is great, you have 24 megapixels, as long as you've got good light, well if you shoot with a kit lens, as long as you've got good light, uh, you'll be fine. Um, I had absolutely no problems shooting with a kit lens, I'll definitely put some reference images. Um, some of the images from the kit lens that I shot with on my Canon are still on my portfolio today. There's only around, I don't know, like five or six, but still that's, it's still a kit lens and you can still, like, you can produce good images with a kit lens, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do that. Um, I picked up a 24-70mm f2.8 in my second year, which brings me to the second pro of this camera, the uh, fact you can put L-series lenses on it, which is great. It's an APS-C crop sensor, which means that you're slightly cropped in, it's a smaller sensor, um, but you can put L-series lenses on it, and then if you upgrade to a full-frame Canon DSLR, you can then stick that lens on your new full frame camera which is great so you can uh, like you can put a good lens on your 750d which is exactly what i did and you will have no problems but there are also some cheaper options which will work fine don't let anyone tell you that you can't produce good images with uh, mediocre equipment basically another thing with this camera is it's really easy to use for example if i'm comparing it to my sony my sony would be quite difficult for a beginner because it's got lots of menus everywhere canon's cameras are very user friendly especially their lower grade like consumer cameras if you want to call them that i don't want to like label them like oh it's a consumer camera because that sounds like negative right no it's not negative everyone has to start somewhere and i think the 750d is a very easy camera to use if you're just starting off and you'll get used to the settings and the menu systems very very easily just like i did also with the 750d it's uh, battery life is very good. Um, normally if I'm shooting for a full day continuously I go through about two batteries. Um, that's photography. For filming obviously your mileage may vary because you're using the LCD screen but for photography I normally use the viewfinder and I get like full day battery life um, off of two batteries which I think is quite good. Um, also another thing the camera Canon Connect app is amazing. It saved me so many times and one example of that is when I went to Poland and I would take lots of pictures and then we also we went on a train for like six hours or something and I was bored and I didn't have my computer so I transferred my fo my photos wirelessly to my phone and then I, I was able to edit them and then post them and send them you know it's great having um, such an easy app to use in order to get your photos out there as quickly as possible or to send them to family and honestly whenever I take pictures of friends and family I send the picture straight away and it's great and I love it. The only cons I have with this is the video isn't great, not the quality of the video, I think the quality is is okay, it's, it's very usable and acceptable, um, but the frame rate you can only do a maximum of 24 or 25 frames per second in um, 1080p and I think that's a big drawback because um, you can't shoot slow-mo etc, you can't do any of that stuff and also it's not good for low light, it's an APS-C sensor um, 
and it's also a Canon camera and Canon cameras aren't necessarily known for their great uh, low light performance. Some of their higher up cameras obviously perform well in um, low light situations and um, I won't comment on those because I'm not, I haven't used those. Um, but in comparison to like maybe the G7X which is kind of a similar price range, last time I checked anyway, the G7X from the Panasonic which is in a similar price range, it does 1080p60 and it does 4K and it has better low light performance. Um, but your mileage will obviously vary depending on the situations that you're shooting in. But overall video on the Canon 750D isn't great. I think that kind of wraps up the video. I will definitely include some like images and b-roll in the video if I haven't already of kind of shots of the Canon to see how it's held up over the two years. Um, it's not weather sealed which you could say is a disadvantage um, but it's a £400 camera at least when I bought it anyway and you're not going to have any form of weather sealing because it's just it's a consumer grade camera but please do not let that kind of effect where you take your camera. I've taken this out in the rain, I've dropped it in mud, I've had sand all over it. Um, one of my friends dropped his 750D in the sea and then I took it apart, stuck it on a radiator for a few months, put it back together again and it was completely fine afterwards. Um, there's no problems with it but please don't drop your 750D in the sea, don't do that. It's idiotic. <laughs> to say the least anyway, um, but that should kind of give you an idea of how good the build is on the camera, although please 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 don't drop your cannon in the sea. That kind of wraps up this video, I hope this did help, if you have any questions um, please let me know, if you want any sample footage uh, of the video then I uploaded a video that I went to Kent with my grandfather and I filmed some stuff on the 750D so that can kind of show you the image quality of what you're working with. If you want to pick up the 750D I'll leave links in the description to a website that I would recommend. Um, it's not sponsored or anything like that, I've, I've just used this website to pick up my L-series Canon lens and my Sony a7 III and I've had no problems with the um, reseller. Um, it's really great, very reliable, quite cheap as well in comparison to others. That kind of wraps it up. If you did enjoy this video or it did help you, please leave a like and a comment. If you didn't like this video or it wasn't as informative as you expected, please drop a comment down below and I will do my best to answer any questions that you may have or may not have. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm happy to help, so just let me know.